the magical, marvellous, amazing spark pack that didn't work. Bob was having the best week of his life. Each day was bursting with fun and thrilling adventures. Why? Because Bob was learning to fly with his brand new magical, marvellous, amazing spark pack. Monday, Bob learned how to make his spark pack zoom left. Tuesday, Bob learned how to make his new spark pack zoom right. Wednesday, Bob focused on nothing but up, up, up. Thursday, Bob discovered the joys of flying diagonal. On Friday, Bob's friends thought that he was going to help them rake Mrs. Dibble's front yard. But on Friday, Bob decided not to rake so that he could have more spark pack fun. Poor Bob. Friday turned out to be a major disappointment. Soon after liftoff, his spark pack wouldn't zoom left, right or diagonal. Bob's spark pack would only zoom in one direction. Down, down, down. Plop. Dropping Bob down onto his sensitive head and ending his perfect week. Bob wondered what had caused his brand new magical, marvellous, amazing spark pack to lose power. When he looked at it, it sputtered. And then the spark light dulled and nearly disappeared. Having a non-sparking spark pack ruined Bob's lunch. Scary thoughts danced in his head and convinced him not to tell anyone his terrible problem. That afternoon, Bob worried. After that, Bob worried some more. He tried to think about possible solutions to his problem. Does my spark pack need recharging like a cell phone? No, there isn't any plug. Does it need cleaning? Are the sparks being dulled by dirt? He quickly found a towel and wiped his spark pack, but this didn't bring back the spark shine. Was there a manual? Everything Dad installed in the house had a booklet of instructions. Had he overlooked one of those? Whoop! ripped the Velcro. Zoop! unzipped the zippers. Shake, shake, shake! shook the spark pack. But no manual dropped out. Baffled, Bob sat and thought after which he sat and thought more. And then, in the blink of an eye, Bob realised his problem. It was simple. It was obvious. His spark pack wasn't sparking as brightly because it was working too hard. It needed rest in the darkness. It needed time not to shine. Aha! Uh -huh. Now all Bob needed was a very dark place to rest his spark pack, and so he began. First he tried under the bed, but the light was still there. He tried the shower with the shower curtain closed, but the light was still there. And so was a puddle of water. He tried a big bag, but that didn't do the trick. There was no way to check on the spark pack without letting light in. Finally, Bob had the ultimate foolproof plan. He would hide deep in his closet, far from the windows. He would roll the spark pack in a bag and tuck the bag under his shirt. And, for extra darkness, he would pull a blanket over his head. The result? Nothing. Bob's spark pack was duller than ever. A doorbell. When Bob opened the door, he saw his friends. Bob, can you come and help us? We are going to the playground to move stones with the construction crew. You'll need your spark pack. Bob's smile faded. He couldn't let his friends know his terrible spark pack secret. He quickly stammered an excuse. But, but, I don't want my b -b -b brand new spark pack to get dirty. Don't be silly, Bob. Go get it and let's get moving. His friends were right. Helping to build a playground where he could play was a great idea. 
so he ran, pitter-patter, up the stairs. Wham! slammed the bedroom door. Flip! flicked the light switch. Creak! groaned the closet doors. Crinkle! Crinkle! unrolled the bag. Plop! dropped the blanket to the floor. Creak! Flip! Wham! pitter-patter. Excited to help, Bob raced back down the stairs. As he reached the third stair, his spark pack suddenly sparked back to life. Relieved and excited, Bob zoomed out the door, calling, Bye, Mum, I'll be home in an hour for dinner. Later that evening, Bob took a bath. He scrubbed his little neck hard. He scrubbed his little knees harder, shiny and clean. He put on pyjamas and climbed into bed. As he waited for goodnight kisses, Bob's heavy eyelids kept closing. After a day like today, sleep would come easy. Bob glanced in the direction of his spark pack and smiled. Tomorrow was sure to be magical, marvellous and amazing. The end. If only Bob had seen this tag that was on his spark pack all along, he would have saved himself a lot of trouble. The tag says, Dear Spark Pack Owner, Spark Packs are mirrors that copy what you do. Hide your light from others. It hides its light from you. Share your light with others. It shines brightly too.